Have you ever thought to yourself, Man, you know what? I hate dying. Renewal Crest? Have you ever thought to yourself, Man, playing in the back of the map? Kinda boring. End game viable sword usage? Have you ever thought to yourself, Man, Stasis has really fallen out of the meta. Psych! That's the wrong number! <laughs> well guys, Bungie has just blessed us with a new buff, and with it, today, I am able to bring you all of that with just one build. On top of 90% damage resistance and using swords viably, we also casually have infinite freeze abilities, allowing us to intrinsically stun unstoppable and overload champions. Come on, bro. What's good, guys? It's Zen, and if you know me, you know I'm not gonna waste your time on my videos, so enough hype, let's hop right in. Let's start with our exotic of choice, Renewal Grasps. This exotic gives you 25% damage reduction while standing in your dusk field grenade. It also reduces the damage output of enemies inside the dusk field grenade by 50%. Now, this alone gives you some very decent damage reduction, but we have even more stacking to get us that promised 90%. Now, first of all, let's talk about Whisper of Chains. This fragment gives you another 40% damage resistance when standing near frozen enemies or a stasis crystal. Now, when we throw our grenade, it'll freeze targets for us, activating that nicely, but also with the touch of winter aspect, we will be spawning stasis crystals each time we throw our grenade, meaning we'll automatically get that damage resist from Whisper of Chains the second we throw our grenade down. Another thing to note is that touch of winter does make our dusk field grenades larger, which stacks with the increased radius from Renewal Grasps. Now, on top of all that damage resistance that we just mentioned, we will get another 30% from having 100 resilience. Finally, with the Navigator Trace Rifle, we'll have Woven Mail just by shooting allies with the trace. Woven Mail gives us an additional 40% damage resistance. We've now mentioned every source of damage resistance for this build. Now if you didn't know, damage resist values in this game stack multiplicatively. So with our handy chat GPT, we do some quick math. 25% damage reduction from us standing in the grenade, plus 50% reduced damage from enemies being in our grenade, plus 30% from 100 resilience, plus 40% from Whisper of Chains, and another 40% from Woven Mail, gives us a total damage resistance of 92%, which is absolutely ridiculous. It cannot be overstated how insanely strong this is in endgame content. Now, obviously 92% is huge, but to have that going constantly, we're gonna need to be able to spam our grenades, so we're gonna need to grab Whisper of Shards. This gives us increased grenade energy recharge when we destroy the stasis crystal that spawns in our dusk field. This energy is quite substantial as you can see. Next up we have Whisper of Durance, which increases the duration our dusk field grenade remains on the field, in turn giving us longer to abuse our resistance. Now on top of that, we're gonna get free grenade energy back when we dodge thanks to our two stacks of our bomber mods. We also have Reaper on our class item, so after dodging into a weapon kill, we will spawn an orb of power, which gives us even more grenade energy due to our two stacks of the Innervation mod on our legs. These orbs of power also give us armor charge which makes our grenade kickstart even stronger giving us more grenade energy after throwing our grenade with all of this combined you'll be able to spam dusk field grenades every 10 to 20 seconds giving you ridiculous uptime on that 92 percent damage resistance now we will also get a ton of grenade energy back when we melee targets thanks to our impact induction mod this mod also opens up the next portion of our gameplay Glaives. Now guys, our entire gameplay loop has us throwing dust field grenades on top of enemies, then pushing up on them with our sword. This is great, but swords do have that limited ammo. With a glaive melee, we are able to save our sword ammo for higher HP targets. Additionally, glaives do give you that 97% damage resistance while blocking, so this weapon type just synergizes so well with the build. The gameplay loop will have you pushing out of cover constantly, so the Glaive Shield can help you get out of a sticky situation. Okay, this build is ridiculously tanky now, but let's make ourselves even stronger, because why not? Now with Grim Harvest, we create stasis shards when defeating slowed or frozen combatants, which is just anything in our Duskfield grenades. Now even though Whisper of Rhyme has been nerfed, it is still key to this build as it gives you that much needed health when you collect these stasis shards. Whisper of Hunger will give us increased melee energy when picking up stasis shards as well. 
This fragment, when combined with everything else, just gives us ridiculous freeze ability uptime. Our last mod will be Elemental Charge, which has a chance to give us armor charge when picking up stasis shards. This just gives us another way to maintain those high armor charge grenade kickstarts. Now this build marks a first for the channel because today I'm going to give you three exotic weapon options, all of them amazing. Now this build gives you the option to use close range weapons with amazing effectiveness, and with that in mind you may want to synergize with our first option. Lament. Lament is fantastic because with it you now heal for your sword hits on top of healing from Whisper of Rhyme. The only issue with this sword is its ammo economy, which is supported a great deal with us using our glaive melee often. Now Lament is great, but as we mentioned earlier, the Navigator will give you that staggering 92% damage resist with its woven mail. This in turn frees up your heavy slot, allowing you to make usage of Zypher. Now this is the sword that you get from the Dawning. I really hope you guys saved it in your vault because now is the time to whip it out. This sword is absolutely amazing due to its exotic like perk, Cold Steel. This perk is essentially just Chill Clip, where each hit will slow enemies leading up to a freeze. This synergizes heavily with our build by creating stasis shards for sword kills. This weapon also intrinsically stuns Overload and Unstoppable Champions for us due to its slow and shattering effects. Now our final choice will be Wish Ender, and this is probably realistically the number one pick. While this build does shine in close quarters, you will eventually need to do range damage in endgame content like Grandmaster Nightfalls. Wish Ender takes on this role for you, while also stunning barrier champions, giving you options for all three champions. And guys, just like that, we have infinite freeze abilities and 90% damage reduction, allowing you to curb stop literally every single activity in the game. Try out the build, and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. You already know I'm going to have a ton of builds coming out with the new season that just dropped, and I am super excited, guys. You are not going to want to miss out on that. Either way, appreciate you just watching, and I will see you for the next video. Peace.